Hi, Bug. Hi, Bug. Hi, Bug. This is my girlfriend, Alyssa. And this is my girlfriend, Lauren. And today, we are craft. We're doing more craft. Yeah, and also, we're on TikTok Live. Yes, so if you see us looking over here, we're going to be answering questions and addressing yes. comments yes. on the live. Yes. Um, if you ever want to be a part of a video like this, make sure that you're following both of us on TikTok because mm -hmm. we are going live. Follow us on Instagram because yes. we're answering questions. Mm -hmm. But before we get into the video, are you subscribed for once? <laughs> for once. <laughs> Have you liked this video? <laughs> Did you preemptively comment, oh, I love both of your shirts. Uh, we made them, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we did actually. Yes, if you want this shirt, president of my girlfriend's fan club, linked below. And mine can't be bought. It's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> I made it by hand. So. Have you hit that little bell button to be notified every ding, time ding, we post? Ding. Because we're posting three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Alyssa, what are you going to be crafting today? Okay, I am going to be adding some accoutrement to this little white blouse that I got from my mother because she is moving. A little eyelet bottom, tie sleeves, very cute. No idea where it's from. Don't ask, I'll, well, I'll tell you the brand. Love Stitch. <laughs> love, love Stitch. Love Stitch. And then I got this, we go to this $1 sale where everything costs a dollar. So I got this cutie little apron and I'm going to use it as scrap fabric because I feel like red gingham is so cute. Is one of my favorite things ever. And as you can tell, I like apples and I'm gonna put a little red gingham apple on the shirt. Maybe add some buttons, maybe add some rick rack. But today we're gonna focus on the apple. What are you crafting, Lauren? I bought this little tank top. Uh huh. At Target. Adorable. Twelve dollars. Adorable. Little like almost like boob scoop. Boob scoop. I hate that. <laughs> I bought this tank top <laughs> at Target for twelve dollars. Boob scoop. <laughs> you to not. I'm going to embroider a word on it. I'm still thinking, I kind of want to do Sappho, mm -hmm. or I am Sappho. Maybe. Actually, that would be really cute because we have those Sappho earrings. Oh, I love them. If y'all are hey following Kalanda. Hey Kalanda on mm -hmm. Instagram, um, they make a very cool lesbian merch. And they're just lovely people. Lovely people. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll do I am Sappho. I kind of want it to be my name now. Okay. It Little Lauren. Gay <laughs> Did Lauren. you try to remember my name? <laughs> no, no, I was trying to think of a way you could combine ideas. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll just do Lauren. I don't have anything that says my name. Also, people often think my name is Poppy. Uh, today, somebody called her Laura, is what I will say in yes. my comments. They said, love you and Laura. And of course, I commented back like two flower emojis because I love that they love us. <laughs> I don't mind if people call me Poppy at all. And I, I don't care. This is, this is my truth, y'all. You could call me Jeff. Like, you could call me whatever you want. Don't call, call me. <laughs> my username is Popular. Uh -huh. uh, because it reminded me of the word popular. <laughs> and I wanted to manifest. I said popular. <laughs> popular. Um, I should write Jeff on it. <laughs> I just want to talk to you, so I'm... <laughs> You have a crush on me. <laughs> this girl has a crush on me. We are, yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. we're feeling crazy. We're feeling crazy. My eyes twitching. All right, let's start crafting. Let's start crafting. If, when we fight, how do we make up? I think we just like cuddle up and talk it out usually. Yeah, not to jinx anything, but we don't fight that often at all. We're not very argumentative people. We aren't, and we're also both people who are very communicative about how we're feeling. Do you have scissors? Yes. Also, I feel like if I'm having a bad day and I'm being a little grump. I'm pretty aware of it and so are you. And it's usually like one comment that isn't mean, but maybe isn't warm. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you it's know. like, I said, I love you. Not even I love you more. <laughs> like, like it's oh, awesome. What did I say to you sweet. the other day? What did I say to you the other day? The other day, Lauren said whatever to me. I was ready to start a fight. <laughs> Listen, I was having a really bad. She morning. was having a really bad morning, and she was really stressed out. And she was editing our YouTube video, and I said, "Babe, do you want me to just do it? Do you want me to help?" And she goes, "I got it." I kept being like, she kept offering to help me, and I kept being like, "I got it." Because you know, like sometimes when you're going through it, and somebody's reaching out to you and offering help, and you're like, "I just need to figure this out myself." Yeah. Um, and so I said, oh. <laughs> "I'm so sorry." <laughs> you didn't hurt me. You didn't hurt me. <laughs> It's okay. Why did you do that? I need to know. I was trying to get. <laughs> I just hit her Replay with it in slow mo. I said, oh. <laughs> I'm sending it to the <laughs> the authorities. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was okay. trying to get it over across you. <laughs> I felt like you like threw it. I did. Why did you do that? I don't know. 
Frico. That's how we make up. <laughs> that was our fight. I just needed to know why. That was our fight. But yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty chill. Yeah. I, I think we're we both. Um, Where's my sharpie? We're both giving each other the benefit of the doubt when we're acting up. Yeah. And I think that's important mm -hmm. when your partner is having a bad day. Can I use um, <laughs> oh, the scissors shoot. one more time? <laughs> I won't throw them this time. <laughs> Don't throw them at me. <laughs> this girl, y'all. Uh, uh, are you guys having fun in the live? I'm having a blast. I'm glad. I'm glad you're having a blast. They're like, throw another pair of scissors at us. <laughs> crazy right now. Yeah, I'm feeling fun. I'm feeling flirty. I'm feeling How long have you been together? Or maybe where was your first date? Oh. oh I don't know the name of the Italian place. Me either. We went we got an Italian dinner. Yeah, we got an Italian <laughs> dinner and I remember I asked my friend, Kelsey, who you guys know as the mod and my bestie, I've been like, do you know like a romantic Italian spot, I'm right? I'm cutting into this just so everyone knows. She gave me uh, suggestion. I remember we got there and I did not think it was very romantic at all. And I remember being like, Kelsey, it was very romantic to me. I feel like it was like, no, it wasn't the best restaurant, but the thing is, is that it was such a lovely street and it was right next to an ice cream place, um, which was lovely. You bought me an ice cream. I did. Um, or maybe was it I salt and straw. Us. Yeah, it was salt and straw. Salt and straw was, ah! here's the thing about salt and straw is that it smells. Are you okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, I shouldn't be screaming when I have a needle in hand, but um, I, I just, um, my embroidery hoop popped. The thing about salt and straw is that it smells delectable, and then you delectable. go, delectable, and then you go and it's just fine. You remember the French rat meme, guys? That's Alyssa. The French rat meme uh, is a reference to the hair dyeing YouTube video. I like wasn't that bold in a meme. A, like, yeah, I know. A, a very insular moment in our... Guys, wasn't that funny? Did you watch the hair dyeing video? Because that was a good video. Remember when I said, This is gonna. I said to you, <laughs> <laughs> I said, Let's act like I was a French rat in that flashback. If we were type of soup, what type of soup would we be? This is a Trixie and Katya question. Okay. Did, if y'all are Trixie and Katya fans, one time somebody asked them this at a panel. What type of soup would I be? This is really hard. Definitely creamy. Um, I think my favorite soup is gazpacho, but I don't identify as a cold soup. <laughs> I think if I'm anything, I'm warm. Yeah, if I'm anything, I'm warm. You look beautiful. You're a beautiful soup. You look beautiful too. Book soup. You're probably, <laughs> yeah, book soup. You're you're probably a very pale soup. Yeah. And I think I'm probably some a red soup. I think I'm like a cream of something. You're probably, oh, I love a you cream of corn soup. Oh, cream of corn would be really good for corn you. Corn chowder, that's what yeah, I meant. corn chowder. What the heck is a cream of corn? <laughs> I'm sure it exists, my love. Creamed corn exists. I don't think I'm tomato bisque, so nobody suggest it. Don't suggest it, and if you do, <laughs> back off. <laughs> um, what, 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 what soup, soup am, am I? I? <laughs> <laughs> You're a goober today. Uh, oh my god! I am pumpkin soup. Oh, like a pumpkin, pumpkin curry. Soup. Pumpkin curry soup. I'm so sorry it took me so long, everyone, but I'm satisfied with my answer on pumpkin soup. Here's where I Google a picture of an apple. <laughs> you said, what did that look like? Apple. Red. Okay, I don't want to be on Reddit. Red delicious apple. What's up? Butternut squash? Oh, yeah, I love guys, butternut squash. Guys, a butternut squash. Wait, I'm surprised you didn't say a soup with a gnocchi in it. I love gnocchi, but I don't identify as, as that. a gnocchi. I don't think so. Fair. I don't think I'm potato-y. Is gnocchi made with potato? Yeah, it is. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. What makeup do we use? Lots. So Lots many kinds. kinds. What are my favorite makeup brands? What are my favorite makeup brands? Um, Half Magic. Yeah, we're loving Half Magic. We're loving um, House Labs. Ma I'm gonna. I'm so freak sorry. Freak out! Don't freak out, please. <laughs> we, we use this uh, this brand called Glitter Drizzle. <laughs> I wonder the legitimacy of this brand. <sighs> There's a gnat. Sometimes Alyssa will catch flies in her hand, mm -hmm. and it's one of the I think most um, out of character things you do. I'm drawing my apple, everyone. Yeah, because. Be careful about bumping me right now. Oh yeah, but I'm sending you so much love and trust and desire. Pixie dust. Uh huh. If you were, wait, wait. I wanted to ask you a question, but then I said it's not from chat. I shouldn't ask. 
You can ask. Okay, if you were- You're the- You're- And I will say this with my chest, you're more important than chat. To me? I love you all, but that's my love of my life. <laughs> She's more important. Wow. Ask me your question. I was gonna say- Oh, wait. I drew a- a- Poor apple. <laughs> he has no money. I poorly drew this apple. He has no money. <laughs> Thank you for understanding, everyone. I knew you would. You know I love you so much, but um, that's my girl. Someone said tips to not fall for a straight girl. Um, I've never had a crush on a straight girl, and that is my truth, and I feel like a lucky duck when I say that. I've had a crush on a straight girl, and I feel like- Yeah, what did you do? How old were you? Was this uh, high school? Was this, this was the high girl? school. This was high school. The girl. This was high school, and I think that you just have to instead throw yourself into like friendship with her and move past it. Do you think that, that you can have helps? distance? Some I feel like some people can't do friendship if they're like got feelings or something. For me, I was like, I like love her as a person, and I want her in my life as a friend, and I knew it was never gonna be a thing. Yeah. So. It wasn't that hard for me. Are you so still, I guess I don't know. Are you still advice. friends with her? Yes. Unlocked lore. I'll tell you later because I have so much love for that chica. And my feelings went away so fast. I love when you say chica. Okay, throw yourself into friendship, but if you can't do the friendship, that's okay Take too. Take some distance. Take some distance. Remind yourself that she doesn't even know what it's like to be a cool gay girl. Yeah. And that's hard. Yeah. That, I think that's why I never really had crushes on straight girls because I was like, you weren't built like me. I was like, I'm cooler than you because I'm gay. <laughs> nah, we we do love straight girls, of course. We love everyone in their own I special ways. I feel fine. I'm not I'm not kissing straight girls' butts. I'm not kissing anyone's butts except for yours. I know it. I know it, baby. Also, I didn't tell you guys, but I'm doing my embroidery with brown thread. We're at 18 minutes on the YouTube video. Wow. It's gonna be a long one. Buckle in, folks. Buckle in. But I wanna. I got the I start can... of an apple. We've got the start of an apple. It's the start of an apple. And if it's not perfect, it shouldn't be. How to tell your best friend you're in love with her? <laughs> oh. I think it just. Do you? I. <laughs> this is a hard one, guys. <laughs> this is a hard one, my loves. Because I say, do you feel in your heart that it will? impact the relationship in a way that is positive or negative? Mm. I don't know. I think it's hard. I think you need to weigh the pros and cons. The pros and cons. If you absolutely need to tell her, you're, you're gonna end up telling her. Yeah. Better to do a plan than to do it out of freaking nowhere. Um, because then you can collect yourself and decide what you want to say. I would probably have to say something for myself. POV, what if we were just friends? I love to say this. I love to say I this because I would be crying every night, feeling so lonely. Yeah. What if we were just friends? Oh my god. I'm like, what if I was dating somebody else? That just took my mood way down. Really? You have some thread on your nose. Red thread. I love you. It took your mood way down? Yeah. Don't be sad because we're together. I'm sad. Hey. You still have a kiss mark on your cheek from me smooching you earlier. That's good news. I love you so much. If we were just friends, that would be so sad, but we would find our way to be. If other. you were dating somebody else, that would Ugh. be really hard. If you were dating somebody else, you would be more likely to be dating somebody else. Why? Because you would go on dates. You've <laughs> dated more people. That's true. I've only dated like four people. But that's just because they tried to date me, you know? Like you were like pursuing love. Yeah. You have a crush on your best friend and she's straight, but it's bad. I picture us getting married. Ooh, my love. Everybody and their straight best friends. That's really hard. I'm I'm really grateful that I haven't had to go through that, but I also think that <sighs> your friendship is still so beautiful, and even if it, if they are straight, it won't work out for you too. You two crazy kids, but your friendship will still work out if you can bear it. For me, I think friendship is such a beautiful thing and is just as important as romantic love. Um, so I hope that y'all can work through it. Yeah, I hope that, I think when people are in love with straight girls, they need to remind themselves that this girl will never love them back. And remind yourself that you deserve love. Mm -hmm. Romantic love from mm -hmm. a girl who likes girls. Mm -hmm. 
And it's so special to be loved by another girl who likes girls. Oh my god, it's the best feeling. So in the hold world. out for that. Hold out for that. It's beautiful. I'm pinning it now. Sorry I've been taking so long, everyone. No, you're perf. Thanks, baby. You're perfect. Mine, I'm almost, not almost done, but like oh nearing the finish line. Whoa, girl. I'm a fast embroiderer. I've just been chatting away. But my fear is that it's not looking amazing, so maybe I'll re-go over it. If you didn't do social media and comedy, what job would you want? Oh, That's I often- a great question. Do you want to go first? No, you. Okay. I often say that I should have considered going to fashion school. You love fashion so I love much. fashion. Um, I'm also interested in owning a little cafe. I went to college <laughs> for screenwriting, for film and television, and I love to act, yes. which is still pretty related to what I do, it's still performing, mm -hmm. but that is what I would want to do. Yeah. Obviously, I, I don't know if you guys know this, my dream is to be a comedian. You are a comedian. But like, a, like I like sketch and I like character. Best. What do you think is your ideal like performance space? Like live, cause you like to do live performing more than recording. I want to be like Carol Burnett. Like I would love to have my own variety show. Yeah. Yeah. But she's, hers was filmed. Yeah, I'm fine with it being filmed. Yeah. It was performed in front of a live audience. So you'd want to perform in front of a live audience but have it be filmed? Yeah. What's your favorite book? Oh, I don't know. That's a hard question. I'm currently reading Crescent City. I'm trying to get I'm on the second it. one. I really love The Price of Salt. That is what Carol is based on. Mm. And I love Carol. Mm. Oh, I loved, when I was in high school, I loved this book called The Realm of Possibility by David Levithan. Ooh. Still love that book. The, my favorite book in high school, I can tell you, is this book called Why We Broke Up. And it was by, I forget the author's name, but it's Lemony Snicket, but under his real name. Oh. Um, and it was really cool because it had all of these gorgeous illustrations. It was like a picture book for young adults, which was cool. I love Jeanette McCurdy's book. Yeah, I'm glad my mom died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I should show them that this is pinned and I've actually done something. So with what has mind. happened is I have actually finished oh. mine, but I'm gonna go in and refine it. So okay. I'm showing the YouTube and then I'll show chat. I pinned on this little apple. I feel like it's really cute. It's, it's giving it is cute. a sweetie farm girl. You are a sweetie farm girl. It's off center on purpose, so no hate. And then I have embroidered my name, but there are kind of some gaps, so I'm gonna go in and refine. Do you like musicals? If so, which ones? <laughs> my, yes. I'm gonna say it guys, my gay awakening was wicked. wicked. Cause I thought in my heart so much about how Alpha Bun and Glinda should be together. Yeah. Um, I was reading yeah. fanfic, I was, I was looking at fan art. I was having a Tumblr where I just reblogged gift sets of them. I love Wicked. I'm so excited for the movie to come out. I'm scared. I'm nervous. No one will ever be my favorite Glinda other than Megan Hilty. Yeah. I grew up doing musicals. And for a long time, I thought I was going to be a musical theater performer. But then I realized that um, I didn't necessarily love the way that the girlies were being written and I said I should really learn how to write And so that's why I went to college for comedy because I was like I should learn how to write something so I can have something that I like um, But I love musicals. I love to sing Favorite musical for a long time. My favorite musical was next to normal, but mine too oh. But I feel like it's kind of problematic in a lot it of is. ways. It is. It um, is. But the songs are bop the songs are so good, and for a time I was I, I was saying, Alice Ripley, I love you, but then she yeah. was a creep. Yeah, it's true. I love, she is proof that women can be creeps yes. too. I love the Rocky Horror, like, musical. I love the movie too, but the musical is so good. And of course, a cult classic. And I've always wanted to play Columbia. Um, <laughs> no joke, I love Legally Blonde. Yeah. And of course, I made Lauren watch The Search for Elle Woods. The Search for the Next Elle Woods. Um, because I'm obsessed. Oh, actually my favorite musical is Hedwig. Oh, I love that. My favorite musical is Hedwig. Wig in a box. By far, <laughs> by far. Um, so that's my answer. I love musicals. Y'all, Wicked. I'm excited for the Wicked movie. I'm scared, but some of the best fanfics I ever read were for Wicked. Oh, uh -huh. you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to pin this thing. I've gotten really into screaming recently. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I've gotten into going, ah! Like a freaking fainting goat as well. Um, oh, also into the woods. 
Oh, I love Into the Woods. I was the witch in. I'm so jealous. I would love to in play the witch. In eighth grade. I love the witch. Bernadette Peters as her. the witch. I would love to do it again. Um, dare I say one of Meryl Streep's only flops? Yeah. Didn't love her as the witch. No. I mean, that was just a hard movie. <laughs> How did we come out? I. Okay. Here's I declined. Me. Yes. Alyssa did not come out formally. I did. Um. I feel like, I don't know if I've told my coming out story actually online. Maybe I have, probably. I feel like I've made about a million videos online at this point. Yeah, but tell them, baby. It's a good story. Okay. The first person I ever came out to was my stepmom in the seventh grade because we were going to this hyper conservative, hyper strict, dare I say cult-like church mm -hmm. in Tennessee. And my pastor at the time was very, very, very like homophobic, of course, because it was like Bible thumper, only like King James version, like we are saying the these and thous, like these women do not cut their hair, they only wear long skirts. Um, and there had been a particularly rough sermon about, about being gay and we went home and I remember I went inside and I started crying and my stepmom was like, sweetie, what's wrong? Sweetie, what's wrong? And I remember I like, we went to the bathroom and I like shut the door and I just like slid to the floor and I was just in tears. And I remember I said to her like, what if I like girls? And she, I remember the first thing she said, I'll never forget this. She said, are you stupid? And I remember being like, what? <laughs> and she was like, it wouldn't change anything. Like we would love you still so much. And actually I do think I've told this story online because people are like, well then why were they taking you to that church? Yes. Good question that I still have to this day. Um, but parents are wacky. So parents are wacky. So she was like, we would still accept you no matter what. Like we would always love you. You're always our daughter. And I was so lucky that they were so supportive. And I remember I like, she calmed me down and I stopped crying. And then my dad had been outside doing something. I remember hearing him come into the door, like into the front door. And I remember I started crying again. And my stepmom, I said to her, how am I gonna tell dad? And she looked at me and she said, you think he doesn't already know? Gagged, gooped. And this is where, this is where the commenters are right. And they say, well, if they already knew, why were they taking you to that horrible church? And I'm gonna say, my parents are still people at the end of the day. And I don't agree with a lot of what they did when I was younger but I love them and I think they were trying their best and they were in a state where they didn't know many people. And let me tell you, this church the is church will get wacky, wacky. Anybody living through um, Southern baptism, I'm sorry. I'm sorry and I love you. Independent Southern Baptist trauma. Mm -hmm. But that is my coming out story. And that's how I told my parents and they were the first people I ever told. Mm -hmm. um, and then I didn't really tell my, I don't know, I, I guess I told my friends eventually, like in, in college, or not in college, in high school, but my middle school friends. I remember I tried to come out to one of my friends kind of via text. I was like, I was like, guess if I'm gay or not. <laughs> and she said, I don't want to play this game. And, and I was like, oh, okay. But she's by now, so. There you go. It's hard. This is looking wackadoo, but whatever. Let whatever. That looks good to me. It's looking, I've done better embroidery in my life. Hey, not I might, I might snip me. it at the end and restart. We'll I have don't to flip think it. it looks so bad, my dog. Guys. I don't think it looks so bad. I want to restart. You can restart. Yeah. You can always restart. Yeah. You can always, always fix it. You're sweet to me. If you want, you could do Lauren and felt. I have a bunch of felt. No, I want to embroider it good. I think I did the end really cute and the rest is not good. I think the problem is, is that you're using thread instead of embroidery floss. But I do thread. I've done this before. I've done it before too. The end turned out so cute. And so it's I'm like, gorgeous. I'm like, I know I could do that with the rest. And I would not wear this in public because it looks like I ordered a custom embroidery off of Shein. I don't think they would ever do customs. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this video is a testament to starting over. Ow! Poked myself. Hey! <laughs> That's my GF. Be careful with her. <laughs> Ow! Youch!
Does anybody else have any cool and awesome questions? Oh yeah, if you have any more questions. Alyssa, I started wearing red lipstick because of you. Oh! That is a huge compliment. I love red lipstick. That is a huge comp. Update, I have pulled out half of it and I'm gonna keep <laughs> pulling it out and I'm gonna restart. And one day I'm gonna show you guys what this final thing looks like. But I think this is just a message that you can always start over. Yes, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, I have finished sewing on the bottom part of the apple. I just need to sew on the little leaf. So this is what we're rocking with right now, everyone. It looks so I think so it's gonna cute. be cute. I'm so sorry so for elbowing you just then. Elbow me every day. <laughs> thank you everyone who came from the live. Um, and thank you for all the people who didn't come from the live yes, for watching for watching. Us and out with us. Join in on our live. We always do it on Lauren's. Yes. Um, so, but um, before we go, mm -hmm. I hope that you've subscribed. Yes, I hope that you've liked. I hope that you commented. I hope that you went ding, ding, ding on that bell to get notified when we post because we post three times a week. Monday, Monday Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. And I hope that you freaking followed us on our socials because that's where we gathered all these questions from. That's how we fostered this gorgeous conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm very happy today. I'm having a great time today. This may be my favorite day we've ever filmed. Wow, that's saying something. I feel like it's really good. Usually we get a little tuckered, but yeah, I feel like an energy burst. We started, I think, earlier than normal today. Yeah. Allegedly. I don't know. Um. Anyways. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye, bug. Bye, bug. Bye, Bye bugs. bugs. <laughs> good crafting. <laughs> Zoom apple.